girl don't spend it too fast hey y'all it's all of destiny today i'll be doing a clean with me video we're cleaning the kitchen living room and my bathroom speed through or hyperlapse style this is a quick glance at the kitchen it's not too bad just a few things are out of place um we're gonna wash the dishes i sort of almost started on those already all of the sections that i'm showing you all i won't get to them today i didn't want to feel overwhelmed to complete every single task just because i was showing it to you all but i'm going to share with you all what i did manage to finish on this day i'm going to start off with the dishes this is my palm olive dish detergent the little uh, holding rack is from Amazon. I'll link everything I'm using in this video that I think you all may be interested in in the description box down below. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the kitchen in a minute. Something important is happening right now. So I'm gonna position myself in the living room where I can clean this up while I watch the inauguration of Joe Biden. Whenever I'm lounging in the middle of the day, I like to lounge in the living room versus doing it in my bedroom. I feel like the more you train yourself to be awake in your bed, it makes it harder to fall asleep or that's the case for me. So me and my nephew were eating some of the Captain D's funnel cake sticks. We really make use of the living room. I don't know, some people have rooms to where it's like, oh, it's just a pretty room. We don't use it. Every space in our home we use. So I'm going to take everything off and do sort of like a deep clean of the table using my infused glass cleaner and the matching microfiber cloth. So I'm going to dust off my LED candles. If you all are curious about these, um, I get them at the at home store. I recently saw that JCPenney has these as well and Amazon has them online. They're on a four hour timer so they automatically come on. Um, I think I set them for 8 to 12. And then all of the rest of the decor that's on the table is probably from like Burlington, Marshalls, Ross, stores like that. I got these wood and furniture wipes from the at home store. When you're standing in line and it's long, you get distracted by the stuff that they have on display. These aren't that good, but since I spent my money on them, I guess I'm just trying to finish them up and I'm just gonna dust off the wood with these. And on the second row, um, we normally just keep our Mankala game as well as the Babel. So the previous night I opened up my new lights and I unboxed a few things as well. That'll be coming in the weekly vlog for you all. Um, but I'm just going to go ahead and tidy up this space. <laughs> and inside of this trunk is where we keep our nephew's toys when he comes over. I don't like to just throw out my old water bottles as if they're all mixed up and I'm just not even sure at this point if it's even mine. I just give them to the plant outside. So this space doesn't usually get too messy. Uh, sometimes it's just like little things and dust will collect on it. But since it's the closest area to where you come in, I tend to kind of throw my stuff up there sometimes. I wanted to get up close and show you all before I wipe everything down. Sometimes I'm clumsy, so if you see me like picking things up and not like all the way moving it, it's because I'll break stuff. So I can't take no chances. If you know, you know. And whenever I get to any glass items, I'm using the infused glass cleaner with the microfiber cloth. So if you may remember my Burlington um, home decor haul back in December during Vlogmas and I told you all I wasn't too sure what to do with the heart shaped tray. I turned it into this little COVID sanitary station so we just keep extra masks, disinfecting spray and hand sanitizer in that area. Oh, oh my god! Oh, my house sweats! No! I just ruined my house sweats. Oh, oh well. So 
me and my sister were talking about getting a new vacuum cleaner very soon. We're debating between the Shark and the Dyson. Comment down below and let me know if you all have either one of those, um, how you like them. So back to the kitchen, I'm going to use the Clorox Cleaner Plus Bleach. This kills 99.9% .9 of germs and it'll just help me to disinfect all of the top of the surfaces on the counter. I like to work my way from top to bottom when cleaning just because sometimes I'll wipe the trash along the floor and then I can just clean it up all at once. So this Easy Ring Spin Mop is from Home Depot as well as the microfiber refill. I read on the packaging that these are safe to put into your washing machine so once I test it out I'll let you all know but for the time being I just want to swap it out. I wanted a clean one. And to mop today I'll be using the Mr. Clean antibacterial cleaner this one is I believe summer citrus it smells good but it also disinfects it kills germs so that's a plus so my way of mopping I kind of do what I call mop sweeping I don't know it's just how I saw my mom kind of mop and sweep growing up I use the mop to kind of guide the trash in one direction and then I go back a second time and do like the thorough passing through of the mop on the floor but I kind of cut this short so that I wouldn't bore you all with too much mopping so then once I've collected all of the trash in one area I'm able to just get my broom and sweep that up I don't know, it makes it quicker than just using the broom first and then the mop, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's how I do it. Usually after I'm done mopping, the counter space is usually dry, so that's when I'll just put everything back on top. And I'll go ahead and swap out the towels for new ones, and that's it for the kitchen. Now we're moving on to my bathroom. So my bathroom is not too bad. I try to do a good job of cleaning up behind myself, like right in the moment of using things. Uh, but sometimes a few things get out of place. So yeah, I did my hair in the bathroom this morning. Took NyQuil before bed, kind of spilled some of that. So yeah, we're just gonna tidy up in here. And to clean, I'll be using the disinfecting wipes. Another bottle of the Infuse. This one is the bathroom cleaner. And then it has the matching cloth. I like these for that purpose because the colors, I know what it's supposed to be used for. So I like to go ahead and spray the area down. That way, most products say to allow them to sit a little while. So by the time I finish taking everything off of the top of the counter, it'll be time for me to wipe it all down. Start off using the disinfectant wipe. This helps me to pick up anything that's on top of the counter, any trash or anything like that. And then I follow up with washing out the sink with the infused bathroom cleaner. To further sanitize, I'm taking the microbun sanitizing spray. And I'm just going to spray down the handles and everything, allow that to sit. Sometimes when I'm bored with the way my area looks in a certain room, instead of trashing all of your items to buy new things, I just change the arrangement of the items. And this just helps me to kind of refresh the space for a new look. Although, since filming this video, I have purchased a few new things for my bathroom and my bedroom. That'll be a separate video coming up. If you follow me on Instagram, then you may have seen a little bit of that already. This video was filmed prior to that. And this is the finished look. I love the way my counter space looks. Just arranging it up different ways is fun. I only have a little bit left of each one. This is the Airwig one. It's like a small amount left. And these are the generic ones that I got from uh, Dollar General because they didn't have any Airwig ones. So I was like, okay, let me try these. These smell really good, by the way, if you ever cannot find these or even if you can find these. But the price on these are better if y'all want to try them. Um, I don't have the packaging anymore, but I know I got them at Dollar General. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour it. This one, the Dollar General one, was easier to get out. A lot of y'all asked me on the reel that I posted to Instagram how you get this out. I normally just like take something and push it up, but I'm going to try to just pour, whichever one is easier, just pour it into that. And I kind of just mixed fragrances, but 
Oh, shucks, I can't do that. This goes with this one. Ah, I'm so slow. Okay, I gotta put it in here because this goes with this. Is it just me or do you all try to use every little drop of things that you purchase? I'm combining these because they're down to the very last little bit and I want all of my money's worth, okay? So now that I'm done, I'm just gonna go ahead and use the same glass cleaner to wipe down anything that's kind of glass related. And I'm changing up the way this looks one final time. If you all like that floral arrangement, it's a DIY. Uh, the vase as well as the little gems around it is from Dollar Tree and the flowers I think I purchased from Marshalls. So to finish off, I'm going to clean off this mirror and since my um, scale is kind of like glass as well, I'm going to just use the glass cleaner on that. I don't have a towel bar in here, but like I said in the upcoming video of me changing a few things in my bedroom and bathroom, y'all will see how I kind of switch things up. So this is the little toilet area. I just keep some wipes here, um, some poop spray, just like bathroom spray, and this little fake plant. I did a majority of my toilet cleaning off camera because in most cleaning videos, so many people like to do things so many different ways. So I figured I would spare myself those comments. So I'm using that same Clorox cleaner to spray down the tub. I like to use that one because it disinfects the area and it kills germs. And then I'll follow up with the infused one since that's more of a clean cleaning product. Meaning the things that are in it is not harsh chemicals and all of that. Uh, my sister Boone got me this little, I can't even think of the name of it, but I'm pretty sure I'll be able to find it on Google to link for you all down below. But I like that because the handle is like extendable. It just makes washing the tub process so much easier and I just wipe down where all of my products are especially since I take a lot of showers just to make sure I'm kind of cleaning that area down and then I'll put everything back and then I just use that same glass cleaner to make my faucet and the handles look as good as new Once I finish wiping everything back down, I'm just going to put my bath tray back and I leave the cleaning brush um, towards the end of the tub where the drain is. That way the rest of the water can drip out before I put it back underneath my bathroom cabinet. I'm going to take down all of the old towels and swap them out for new ones. And yeah, the bathroom is all nice and clean again until I come back in here to take a shower <laughs> again the same night, but it's cool. So I'm going to finish off just by cleaning out my toilet. This is not a community toilet, it's just mine. And then I'm just going to also take up the rugs, do my mopping, my sweeping, put a new bag in the trash can, and that'll be it. So this is the mop sweeping technique that I mentioned. I gathered up all of the trash, so now I only have to sweep in this small little area. These are the lavender scented little trash bags. I'm not sure where my sister got those from, but I like them. Before I dump out the rest of the mop water, I'm going to touch up those two little areas in the living room. I decided to also go ahead and kind of tidy up this little space underneath the kitchen cabinet since I was kind of avoiding it. The Lazy Susan is from Amazon. The tear shelf that's in the left corner is from uh, Dollar Tree. I'm swapping these gray rugs out very soon. Actually, as I'm sitting here doing the voiceover, my bathroom looks different from this now. So that video is coming up. Let me know if you all want it to be like a transformation as well as the bathroom tour because I do not have that video on my channel yet. 
and yeah that's it for this one let me know if you all want more cleaning videos on my channel these were super easy to film questions and comments be sure to leave all of that down below don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel because it's absolutely free give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the cleaning content that way i'll know to do more of these and i will talk to you all in my next upload yes 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 yes, yes. <laughs> i'm happy right now mm -mm 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 -mm. Yay! <laughs> I'm chilling now. This is the Fit Kitchen Chicken with Cashews uh, by Stouffer's. I got me something good to drink. Gonna be watching CNN just for a little while. I just made the weekly vlog public. Even though it's like the middle of the week, I was waiting on approval. So that's probably gonna be it for today.